Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm Mike. And I'm Ivan. And we're out here in Florida and we're going fishing. I'm just kidding guys, not the regular kind of fishing. We're getting some flooded vehicles. We're actually in the heavy yard and looking at campers. So hopefully we'll pick one up because we just drove all night with the truck. And the game plan is to get one ourselves something. I, I, I honestly anything. We're not that picky. I mean, there's roughly what, like 400? No, something. A thousand cars playing. Yeah, it, it's crazy. So. Definitely a big old list. Hopefully we'll find some of that light damage, light flood. I mean, that's why we're out here to check it out, make sure nothing too crazy going on. But and we're looking for an RV, right? Or camper, yeah. RV, something. If I could drive something home, he could tow something home. That would be ideal. But like I said, there's so much out there. The clock is ticking. We actually had a flat tire on the way here, but we patched it up and we're back at it and we made it here in time. So the clock is ticking. So let's go ahead and start checking them out. We'll show you our list and hopefully find some good ones. Big old yard, guys. This thing is huge. Lots of walking. The heavy section, all the campers, all the heavy stuff. Last time I came here, I wasn't actually allowed to go inside. And this time also it's kind of hard. So make sure you call ahead because previewing vehicles is not always allowed. Every car, Copart has its own specific rules. So definitely do some I research. There's one Michael right here. Here we go. Found something. All right, guys. So this is a 2015 Forest Villa. So basically this thing's a house on wheels for sure. You pull up on this, they'd be like, is it even camping? Cause this thing's got two levels on there. It's got bunk beds right there on top is basically the second story. So it's pretty cool. I actually got something similar to this a while back and I still have it and I still love it. So it'd be nice to see if this one's not too flooded. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go around and see if we can find the water line. We got flat tires. We have a little bit of trees over here. Or, oh boy. Or a little bit of uh, debris stuck between the slide out maybe slide out but that's yeah. a huge slide out. i mean the whole thing the whole wall basically comes out the top looks a little rough not gonna lie the tires are definitely flat those are some big axles yeah yeah fill it up it's got a little bit Ooh. of a slide damage right there well, that's not good a little wow. bit of moss growing yeah it was probably parked somewhere so i know people live in these things so if you get one that people lived in it's kind of rough because usually it's abused and used so kind of hard it's probably backed up and just moss going everywhere but Look how tall it is. That's crazy. This can go under bridges, right? Probably easy to tow. No, this is probably swaying like crazy. But like Got I said, bunk beds. Yeah, double decker for a camper. That's cool. So a little damage on top. Seems like some moss growing or something like that. But I don't know. Let's check it out inside. Ooh, I can smell mold already. The carpet is like soaked. It looks muddy. Definitely seen a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not what, kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for like a minor damage, maybe no water inside, maybe just on, maybe, on the edge of it. Maybe it's not so bad. Let's, let's see. <laughs> you ain't, I ain't going in there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad. So this is like a master bedroom. It's pretty cool. And on top, we got bunks. Wow. We got another bed probably up there. Yeah, guys, this thing yeah, is so And this thing still has stuff inside of it, so... You could see mold growing on the side. Past. I mean, out of, so we got so much options. You know, let's yeah, keep looking. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a lot of work. You got to take it all apart. All the, like, it's basically like a burn camper. So. And a really big project. Pass. Let's keep going. I mean, you think it's so bad, Michael. How much do you think it's going to go for? It's probably still going to go for a lot. Surprisingly, even though they're destruction title, flooded, bad pictures, they still, they're still expensive, you know? People do a lot with them. Maybe park at the, at the land and just keep it there. But luckily with Camera Magic, we just show you the price. So let's fast forward in time and this is the price. Dang, I don't know yet. That, that's a good deal. I don't know what it is. You guys know what it is, but I still don't know. But I mean, there's a fuse box right there. That looks fine. So I don't think the water got super high, but it's but enough to get in and damage it. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, we yeah, got more probably, options. So let's keep it's looking. It's probably like here or somewhere. I have a lot of air out. Oh, look that's at that. Fine. Look on top of the awning. It's wow. Full of branches and all Dang. that. Dang. But let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, here's one, guys. Jayco. American flag. Oh, yeah. So this one plays today, too. Yep. Um, it looked pretty decent on pictures. I got to say, I kind of liked it. Yeah, this you is know. definitely, you know, hopefully it does good. We'll see. It's kind of weird. Looks like heat damage or something, fire damage, like it got a little hot. I mean, let it, unless it got too cool. Baked in the sun, something you can see a little bit oh, right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at this. Wow. It's almost like something next to it was oh, burning. Man, even higher. So is this water damage or flood or fire damage? It should be water damage, but got a little bit of both. Let me check out the front really quick. Yeah, check out the front. So this check is uh, inside. It says power does not extend. It's a Geico, so definitely insurance selling it. 
Nice little bumper hill. The Jayco 2021, I believe. Brand new. I mean, besides a little bit of burn damage, you probably get those new panels. It smells really nice in here. Yeah, so far so super good. clean. The floors look good. There's no residue. The wallpaper's looking good. Yeah. The shocks are still good. Oh yeah. Can you get in the, what is that, a closet? That's just the closet, yeah. And I can't really get the slide out to go, so. Nothing, no power or anything like that. It's, it's got, got super solar. clean though. So solar chargers. Pretty oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. Probably have to get on the roof and check out the roof. It smells really nice in here though. It's got two doors or no? Because if it's got the other door, we could just. I think so. Yeah, then. Really quick, might as well. Yeah, this is nice. All these fancy ladders. I got it. Be careful, Michael. I got it. So cool. the steps are working good. Yeah. I mean, this looks good. The floor, a little the bottom right trim there, but maybe that's just a flap or something. Yeah, I think that just covers it up, but I mean, this all looks good. It unless they brand it. new, yeah. Overall, 2021, and I don't think I've actually lived in or anything like that. Looks very nice inside. So far, this is pretty good. It does smell nice and fresh. All this looks clean. Wow, not pretty too cool. bad. That's the interior is pretty clean. There's no TV though. It's got a sunlight. Skylight kind of thing. Kind of shade. Yeah. Anything in the fridge, Michael? Hopefully not. Ready? Ooh, brand new. Look at that. That's a, a big soda. fridge. It smells nice. That's a deep fridge. That's a make it or break it kind of thing, guys. Fridges are important. And it's got trim a work on it. Yeah, pretty decent. I'll say medium size. Not too small, not too big. But... but I don't think this is a gas fridge. Oh, wow. That's fine. There's a lot of fires due to that, so. Yeah, I'll say water or nothing. Backsplash. Oh, it's fake. I thought it was real. Wow, they it's got me completely just vinyl. But so okay, far, okay. pretty clean. Maybe let's go on top of the roof. Yeah. Inspect that. But so far, I like it. Because it was kind of weird seeing the fire damage. So let's just see what's going on there. Nice. Gonna pull me. <laughs> Handy dandy ladders. That's nice. We can go up there. What you got there, Evan? Mini fridge, outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. Surprise for you. Very nice. Super clean. Wow. Oh no. Wow. Dang guys, that's a bummer. Cause this one was a nice one. Definitely gonna play it, but now redoing the entire roof, that cell membrane, whatever it is. Also all the vents and no thanks. Yeah, it's pretty bad up here. Yeah, I can see right here the paint's right. Wow, the vinyl's right wow, cracking yeah. off. I bet you this awning's gone too. Yeah, the awning's probably done for. And it's so hard to even see that, but that's why we're out here checking it out. All right, so here we have another one, which we're walking through and just kind of inspecting it. But we open the door and we can kind of see it's all dirty. There's a little bit of, see how it's, it's, it's inflating the wood, it's separating, it's bubbling up, it's dirty. And this is stuff that we don't want to mess with. We're looking for the easy ones. We, we're doing our homework, buying right and not buying wrong. And let's keep going. All right guys, so we're like in the middle of the campers which is kind of cool. And right here, look, we've got a toy hauler. Pretty sick, you know, we've got the side-by-side. -side. This would be really nice. And over there, you guys, look at that. Driving ones. So it looks oh, like yeah. that's a diesel pusher. That's another toy hauler right there. And then it looks like a gas one right there. Yes, kind of like sir. what we had. But check out this diesel pusher. This thing looks sick. Oh yeah, these things are up there, guys. A Berkshire XL. Let's Gotta see if anything that opens. Out. Well, that's like, wow. Uh, see, you can see a little bit of water right there. Yep, already sitting. The hydraulics, that looks pretty clean. All the connections, but like right there with your power. So that's a really good sign right there. It's a self-leveling thing. A little wow. bit of corrosion there. Not bad at all. Next compartment, we have the DAF system. Wow, yeah, being diesel. Wow. That's cool. You got a fuel filter right there. You can see the motor. Dang. Good access to the motor, yeah. So this looks like a cat engine. No, it actually looks like a Cummins. 
It's still well, hard to work on, probably. Probably, but it's probably full of water in here. It's probably the same thing. But so far, I like this thing. It's really nice. It's in the inside that matters, right, Evan? <laughs> I mean, check out the lot number. Make sure it's on sale, because I'm pretty sure this wind sport is. And wow. if it is, this one drive home. That one's just more exciting. Look at this water line. That's wow. like. Yeah, they were swimming inside. I mean, so this TV should be good then. I would need a key, yeah. Knocked, locked. It's a 40 footer. Wow. 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 Just, just wow. It's it's all money. Day. All right, so this one's going to be selling soon. It's not today's sale, it's next week's sale. So let's check it out and we'll probably play next week. Well, look at this character of the door. Man, wow, look at this door. This door is huge. This is way nicer than mine. Look at that door. Eight foot. Wow, look at all this stuff. And it smells really good in here. See a little bit of water residue. It's probably from people walking in and out. You can see me driving this thing, right? It's like legit. I think this is marble. That's real tile. Wow. Wow, like good this is actually shade. pretty sick. But there's no there's no master or uh, bunk bed right here. Yeah, it's weird. A lot of them actually come with bunk beds and this one doesn't. Oh. But it's pretty nice. It's got a fireplace, a big couch, a full-size fridge with nothing inside. It smells really good. Not bad. So, I mean, the water line was up to my stomach, so there should have been water in here for sure. It's got a master bedroom, bathroom. Pretty nice. I think we're going to keep it on the list. Yeah. And maybe play next week. All right, let's keep going because I need a ride home. So we got ourselves a 2007 Wind Sport. This one is playing today. It's a run and drive with a salvage title. So it's not a destruction title, so we could get a title for it. It's still going to be salvage, rebuilt, whatever, but it is able to put back on the road because a destruction title, I don't know what you're going to do with it. It's just a nightmare. So this might be my ride home. If Ivan gets a camper, fifth wheel, whatever, pull that and I'll drive one home. That'd be awesome. We definitely want to get some today. So let's check it out. Being a run and drive, it might be going for a little more, a little more expensive, but hey, that way. But this is a gas one, right? It's a gas one, yeah. In 2007. So easy to mess with, right? Yeah, not too easy bad. Easy to get parts. V10, so it's probably just a regular. Just a V10 gas motor. motor. What about the water line? You know where the water line's at? Maybe open the compartment and we'll see if there's any damage or anything or water residue. That's looking pretty good. Not bad so far, but we definitely want to examine it. Ooh, well. Here, check it out, Evan. I think I see the water line. It's pretty high because you can see all the residue kind of oh, stops right stopped. there. Wow. And the same thing on the other side. So that's kind of how they determine the water line. All the grass kind of floats up, water starts going oh, down. Look at that, even the door, it goes up to here and then yeah. stops. Yeah, so I think the water line was... How does this run and drive then? I mean... <sighs> they I drove know. it out of the water. Yeah, they drove it out of the water. Kind of like our school bus probably that we got. It was a run and drive and as soon as we got out of Copart, starter broke and we're stuck at a gas station full of water everything full of water we had to get one it was like 8 p.m spend the night at a gas station it was rough so i definitely let's, don't want that to happen let's maybe find the batteries see what the batteries look like yeah because i mean because it should be under the stairs so let's knows? check under the stairs and then go from there because i mean if it's a run and drive it might be a run and drive again maybe or maybe not guys so you have to be careful that that's why we're checking them out because just because it says run and drive doesn't mean it's always going to be a run and drive so i mean it could have been when they parked it here but Dang. So there's no batteries under here? No. No. Maybe oh, they're the on the apartments. Yeah. Compartments. So let's look around the compartments really quick and find the batteries. It smells really nice in there though. Apartment number one? No. no I should have known. Yeah, that's just straight across. Oh, I see the batteries. Third time the charm. And these look like they're six volt batteries in pair to run 12. Oh, wow. But look yeah. how, look how, there's uh, corrosion. Look, look how bolt they're bulging out. Look at that water line, guys. You can see how even it is. It was, this yeah. thing wasn't even level. Look at the connections right there. Wow. But look at the batteries. Look, it's already in, it's already swollen up. Yeah, wow. That's I would pumped. hate to put power to that. It would probably ignite. No thanks. Dang, so, guys. Maybe let's I check was, the inside or no? Not even. I mean, I was really looking forward to it, but I don't want to drive this thing, you know, 10 hours home, 600 some miles. Because I, I don't think I'm going to wait for you. No, no. It's nice we have two cars, but at the same time, pass. I mean, I was looking at the bid at this thing. It's already like at 12,500 currently. And I seen one for sale for about 20,000. So there's with not no much, water damage. Yeah, no water damage, clean title. So there's not much of a profit. 
because you still have to fix stuff. I'm sure there's a generator back there somewhere, probably full of water too, because everything's down that bottom level. You got your rear differential, you got your starter, all the other stuff that usually is not sealed, so you're gonna get water damage. So let's keep shopping. Let's keep going. Man. All right, guys, so we're actually gonna just watch it play, even though I don't wanna play this one, but hey, we're here. It's the next one. Like I said, it's a time crunch. We were kind of like right at the knife edge, so let's see how much it goes for. It is a running drive. It's a lot of golf carts for sale too, 2020 golf cart. I mean, we, we already fixed one golf cart. Yeah. That's kind of cool, but another golf cart wouldn't be bad. But let's see, people gave him $3,000 for this 2020 golf cart. Let's check it out. I mean, if it, who knows, that might be a good deal. A certificate of destruction. I don't know if they need titles in South Carolina, golf carts. I think it'd be fine. Bill of sale, they need bill of sale. Bill of sale, and you're good to go. So, I mean, if that's a good one, then it's worth 10,000, you get it for 3,000. Might Sell it for 7000 Yeah, might start flipping golf carts, guys. Who knows? But don't get happy and like and click on it, Michael. Yeah. We don't want it. No? We're no, here. the RV. Oh, the RV, yeah. I'll talk about the golf cart. But okay. It's really easy, guys. I've actually bought cars before accidentally. Just clicked it one time. I, I bought an Isuzu in Texas. Yeah, that was a journey. Definitely lost some money on that one, but just going to be careful holding this iPhone. Okay, this one sport is coming up, so let's see. Wow. Sometimes it's hard to predict, you know, when it's gonna be playing. It could take 30 seconds, it could take three minutes. Five minutes. But it's literally right there, Michael. If we win it, we can take it. Is it pure sale? There okay, it is. Here it's we go. Right yeah, it's there. playing. 12,000. Wow. I already passed my limit, guys. Uh, I mean, it's a 2007. Like I said, they go for 20 grand, clean title. Who's bidding it up? Ohio and... Ohio. I don't know if they checked it out, guys. Because even though it says run and drive, it's still it's going to have issues. Florida, Idaho. Idaho. I mean, it's a run and drive, guys, remember? 14 grand. You're still looking at fees, shipping. I mean, getting this thing shipped to And Ohio. You, you can't drive it out of the yard. Yeah, you can't drive it out of the yard, so... They told us you'd have to tow it out of the yard, and then you could drive it. Well, Dang. technically, you still can't drive it. Yeah, because, by, by well, Florida rules. Florida, yeah. But if you're buying from South Carolina, it becomes a South Carolina vehicle, right? So technically, technically yeah. Technically, should be able to. Cause, wow, 15 grand, 15, four. Ohio and Florida, just going to town. Yeah, guys, I am not clicking that. No thanks. Are you oh, sure? Level yeah. one click, Michael. No, nah, I ain't judging that. It's I was excited pure. for the Mustang. The Mustang was great. We actually loved it. We actually sold it already, so I was happy with that one. That was a good buy. But this thing, I mean, if it really was run and drive, start it up, because there's no power left, those batteries look like they're about to blow. We've seen that water line inside. It definitely got water. That's crazy, man. I feel bad. That's, that's a lot. Maybe we'll get our camper cheaper if they spend all their money. Hopefully. Because we do have a camper we're watching. we got to go look at it probably after this, maybe yeah. the next one. Let's go check it out. It's we towards just, the end of the list. We want to bring so. something, guys. We drove all night. We're going to bring something home. Just not that one. Man, this is crazy. Almost 18 grand. You're looking at fees already, you know, 20 grand. Yeah, two grand of fees easily. Wow. Ohio really wants it. Isn't there some kind of special fee on heavy? Or is that like toys? 10%. 10%? Whatever. Of you want. auction price. Wow. So you're looking at like $2,500 of fees. That's crazy, guys, for 2007, gas. I think I you mean, just bought that one on the Facebook Marketplace for 20000 You gotta do your research, guys. I mean, that, that's for sure. That's You can make money or lose money, so it's... 19000 Wow, somebody from Florida. There's 5,400 people still playing, still watching, going in the auction. There's only... Well, I think it's actually people like click in and click out. Maybe. I don't think it's 5,000 people sitting there like us watching it, but... A, well, technically be two of us watching, so... Could be even more people. Wow. It's the longest that's auction ever. Unreal. Where is it at already? 20K? $20,000. Well, it would have been out of our budget for sure. I mean, if it was a steal, you know, if they were worth more money. I mean, if it was like 2018. 2018, yeah, because a buddy of ours just bought one in 2015 or something. Yeah. And he got it for 15 grand. Yeah, much cleaner. Much cleaner. There you go. Oh, bonus time. Florida, congrats, but it's got 21,000 miles, pretty low. Run and drive. Sold. 
and back to golf carts. All right, guys, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and try to find some more because there's definitely a lot on the list. So what do we have here? All right, guys, so our next one on the list is actually a very expensive one. This thing's estimated $450,000. So that is insane, but it's a diesel pusher. This thing's a giant among the RV world. So let's check it out. It's and it's there. dual axle. It's oh, like yeah. the top of the line, and, but it's older. It is, but I guess it's still estimated and retailed at a lot. So Mr. Leadfoot. Leadfoot, get it, <laughs> just pedal to the metal kind of thing. 2015, so it's not that old, I would say. But it looks like it's already cracking and fading. Wow. Mirrors missing. Hit it's up. It's got the dual axles in the back. Fiberglass is cracked. It. It's got the front missing. But it's a big old diesel generator. I mean, so far, not too bad. Dang. Just dusty. Maybe it's just dusty. I think it's got a vinyl wrap on it. No, it looks like it burned. Could have been, yeah. 2015. So Another mirror is busted. So, ex so expensive, though. I mean, look how huge it is. Cornerstone. Is that like a little keypad? Yeah. So I wow. guess I'll lock it, lock it. Integrate into the handle. You got the covered awnings, multiple awnings. This is a whole slide out right here. Wow. So this entire Would wall come out. That? that wall will come out. So yeah, we did a little bit of research on this one. So this one's actually played before, right? Michael? We checked it out in Autostat and it, it went for $50,000 and did not sell. Or basically sold, but they didn't let it go. Or maybe no, they, they, they bought they it. They bought it, $50,000. Now they're dollars. reselling it. Now they're reselling it. So maybe they couldn't get it home for some reason, but. Or maybe it's worse than they thought. Okay, guys, we've got some timers going on because we don't want to miss stuff. So we just got to check it out and keep going because, like I said, auction is going live. So let's just check it out a little bit. Maybe we want to buy it. I don't know, Ivan. Wow. Never you know, kick rusty. a cow. What? Okay. That is actually pretty yeah, bad. That's pretty bad, guys. That's not looking good. You get a bunch of free Still stuff. Still got a lot of dirt. Oh, man, I, the smell. Ooh. Oh, it's bad. You got a lot of residue coming out. Dang. But the dual axles, I mean. It's a semi truck, guys. This is crazy. But, that man, it is, it is rough. But it's 600 horsepower? Dang. Seriously? I think so. No way. I mean, it's four hundred thousand dollars for a reason, right? It's not I just guess. Paint job. Not just for the paint job. It's huge. I mean, it's got airbags. Supposedly these ride really nice. I've never driven one, but I mean, it's huge. This would look nice in my driveway. Look at these tires, guys. Wow. Yeah. How about this? So maybe just one side's bad. Oh, look, the axle's missing. Dang. So see, they took it off for it to um, tow or something. To tow it, yeah. So maybe that's inside somewhere. That's locked. Ooh, that's the water heater. Probably, and this is locked. Something. More junk in the trunk. On the side thing? Yeah. That one also slides out, but probably all rusted up and stuff. And So your opinion on this, Mike? No. Should we pay 50K for this? No way. What I if mean, it's worth 400? You just wash it up, clean it? it is replace huge. everything? Replace everything? Yeah, probably so expensive. Let's go inside and check out the interior because so far it's looking bad from the outside. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. The little cameras right there, usually inside the mirror, but interesting. Look at the caked mud. Dang. Wow, look at that. That's pretty high too. So it's not like it's the bottom level. That's that's all the fuse box right there, panel, yeah, electronics, all... slide outs. Everything's looking bad. Yeah, guys, I didn't want to go inside. But since we're here, real quick, let's just... This $400,000 vehicle. Solid door. Wow. Ew, somebody threw some stuff in. There's the front nose. Thing. Yeah, there's the hood. And, and you can smell it. Wow, oh my it, goodness. It is overwhelming, guys. I'm not going in. Nope. I think it's worse than the fridge we have. That's pretty bad. Well, I guess it's somebody else's problem, not ours. Yep. Unless somebody else bids it up. I mean, there's still probably parts, you know, there's still probably good things on it, but 50 grand. I'm out. I mean, look at this little uh, blinker, still kind of full of water con condensation inside. Yeah. I just wanted to see what the water line would be. It was definitely high. Like, like this one, like this line. That was a clear bra. Well, let's uh, let's keep looking and find yeah. something else. So far, no go, guys. I mean, I would have loved to drive it home, you know, if it was actually something worth driving. But this, now we ain't that crazy. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so this is the last one we're looking for today, and then we'll probably look at a little bit more, but the last one that placed today, that's on our list, uh, and it's a 2021 Sprinter. Not the Sprinter van, but a Sprinter camper, and it's actually pretty big looking, so let's go ahead and check this thing out. Looks like the door already is open. We already checked it out. It looks like the leg's broken, though. Oh, man. So what's going on there? And this is a fifth wheel, so we did bring our fifth wheel adapter, so that's kind of good. It's got a spare tire. That's nice. That's pretty good. But in the pictures, this looks had a lot of damages on it. So it looked like maybe storm damage, not like really flooded. So we're hoping that's going to be the case because, yeah. But you see, it's really dirty though. And inside, a lot of these campers have been noticing, they put this stuff in there. Maybe for like the moisture in the air and stuff. It's Damper pretty it. heavy, yeah, maybe. So, looks but the panel's broken. Dang. But. It smells good though. Yeah? Yeah, I don't see the floor, nothing like that. The panels all look good. Look, somebody yanked it off. Oh, wow. The electronics of it, the heater looks good. Yeah, it smells really nice in there. So you can see the awning is all taped up, so it's probably broken. It's got a little bit of roof damage right there. Yeah, probably storms, like you said. Maybe got like branches or trees or something. So it got damage right there. It's missing a light. We have to get that fixed before we drive though, if we get it or DOT don't know. But so far it's looking pretty good on this side. The back's looking good. Check on top, Ivan, see, cause that roof damage Ooh, might be there's, scary. There's a little bit of roof damage right there too though. Oh man. But the side's decent. The plumbing's there, the jack's there. The wheels are aftermarket. Cool. But see that damage right there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But this one definitely doesn't have a water line. So we got the other part, that looks really good. No propane tanks. They always steal them, huh? Just got, they have to use them more than we do. But let's go on the roof really quick. Yeah, check out the roof, because that looks a little sketchy. If it's like our burnt one, then no thanks. What if, there's a, what if there's like a hole in the roof? Could be, who knows? It's actually looking really good. It's got two AC units. Nice. It's got some kind of GPS thingy. Wow, this thing's huge though. I mean, this thing's huge. How long is it, 36 feet, you think? That's what it says. I think it's bigger. I mean, I don't know. It's, you look pretty small from here. It's pretty massive. Look at that view of campers everywhere. Let's go ahead and go inside. Yeah, let's check it out. Going inside. Let's check out I, what's going on. I gotta say, it smells pretty good. I mean, they still have these buckets in here. So I guess it's doing its job, but that's looking good. The cabinets are looking good. Nothing swelling. Nothing swell. Look, it comes with free tools. Nice, those are always useful. Those are definitely useful. And, what is this? Get yourself an action figure. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. But, uh, I mean, so far, I'm, I'm liking this. Besides the little, I guess, storm damage it has. But the floors, all the wood looks solid. A little sandy here, but maybe that's just dirt. Yeah, it looks like also, oh, there's a crack right here. Dang. But it's got tall ceilings, heck of nice. Really big kitchen. Yeah, it looks like a lot's going on in here, though. A lot of mess, though. They have a lot of stuff. This kind of took a hit. Dang. But we can't get in the bedroom because the slide's in. That sucks. Yeah. Got cups, paper. A lot of space. A lot of cabinet space. I mean, besides the damage, it's not Little bad. Little dinks and dinks, you know. Refrigerator's kind of messed up. Yeah, they probably should have strapped everything down. Yeah, it looks like it got tossed around a little bit, but... Why well, that looks the TV's still there? That's good, yeah. Looks like it's got a fireplace. Some of those clamps. That's crazy. I don't know, I'm kinda liking it. I mean, it's pretty interesting. The slide outs have those cable system right there. Tell that's pretty cool. Remember the newer style? That is a little crack right there. But probably just wood. So I'm um, guessing this is like more like storm damage than yeah, water damage. Yeah, I don't so. see any water damage. But at the same time, storm damage all around. So look at this thing. Heck of sweet. A lot of countertop space, so it's definitely a nice camper. It'd be Fancy. nice to check out that stuff, but maybe I can go through the window. Yeah, I mean, this one's playing soon. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, don't get stuck. We might go through. Might You'll save back. me. It's a little window, dude. Yeah, but everything looks clean over there, so pretty nice. And this guy has a good taste. Look, look at this picture. Maybe there's a Corvette inside. Yeah. Do you know why? Look, he's got a poster. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's nice. Pretty sick. 
Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, guys, so this one definitely has a lot of damage, a little ninks and dinks kind of thing here and there, but it smells great, and I think it's more like I've been said, storm damage than water damage. A lot of stuff we could repair. We've got a little finished nail gun and stuff, so put it back together. I don't think it's that bad. And honestly, we're running out of options. <laughs> so a lot of the other stuff is really destroyed, and we definitely want to bring something home. So this one's playing soon. Hopefully, we'll pick it up. We're about to bid on it. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. So if you want to see us bid on it, make sure you hit that notification bell. Don't miss out. We are going to get hopefully something. So if we don't pick this, then we got to spend the night and the wife's mad trying to build a house. But you know, that's all good. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned, leave some comments below about some of the other stuff we bought, some of the extreme prices, what your comments are on those, your thoughts. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll catch you next time.